Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ken Urker were recently on one of Bree's live streams on TikTok. So I got a hold of a screen recording of this live stream and I figured we would go over it because it's quite interesting. Now, full disclosure, I do have to give some commentary because Brie is now threatening to upload this onto YouTube so that she can copyright strike people. And then after that, we're just like having fun, you know, just talking like Gypsy's just being a normal person, like not famous, not a uh, celebrity, not this, like just being a normal person. Y'all still can't get enough of her. Like y'all still, y'all are so obsessed with her. If you upload them to YouTube, we can report them for stealing your content. And that sounds, and that sounds like fun, right? I should upload because I know so many people. Oh my God, I should do that. I should upload that live, just that live to YouTube. And they report every single fucking person who plays them. But she wouldn't. No, but the thing is, you would only um, it would only you would only be able to report the people who played the live without commentary. Like she's talking about it. But yeah. But did anybody watch this? I actually, uh, literally, I, they definitely, literally, actually, um, Brit Radiant. I mean, Radiant Brit. That girl. So needless to say, Brie does not like Radiant Brit. It seems that she is always watching any and every video made about Gypsy and then sits on live stream and talks about it. But without further ado, let's get into this stream. Now, Ken did get on Brie's panel before Gypsy arrived. So this is going to start playing in the middle of him talking. You know, it's just it, I'm, I'm just trying to plant a different perspective into the opposer's side. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like no, Ken, you're not doing anything wrong. I just I feel like had a chance to even really fully explain my circumstances. You know, it's it, yeah. it, it, the few times I've ever been on his panel was like arguing around a specific point, like the cowboy thing or yeah. you know, the Zora thing you or whatever. Right. Like, <laughs> you know, basically what I'm saying is I'm not like the kind of person who's going to shy away from um a debate or a conversation with anybody even the people that hate us the most that i feel like would be a conversation would be totally worthless you know it's like you're so deep on your side that there's no way that i'm ever going to reach you with my voice at all but the point is is i'm i'm not a, i'm not like shying away from talking to anybody like i'm so confident in how i feel about gypsy and how i feel about me and our life together and uh, her past and our present and our future that it doesn't bother me to share how I feel with anybody, you know, right. opposer or not. So Ken has been on Sir Morbid's panel, I want to say at least three times, and he was supposed to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. And that basically got postponed or pushed back as what Sir Morbid describes that Ken has been told that he's not allowed to come onto Sir Morbid's panel because Gypsy and her side, Brie, they don't want him to come on Morbid's panel. But I honestly think that it did some good, him going on Morbid's, because he was able to explain his perspective and explain a few things or rumors that had been going around that he was able to squash. Everybody was pretty respectful of him every time he was on Morbid's channel. I can, um, I can definitely, I mean, you know, you and Gypsy know better than anyone, like, that I can relate to you in many ways, because I stand over here and do it every day also. And I don't mind people coming over here. They think I do for whatever reason, but I don't. Um, maybe because you block people as soon as they enter your live. But I'm, so don't think that I'm saying that, oh my God, you shouldn't talk to them ever. What I'm saying is like, I feel like that you really did fight for Gypsy and fight for your side, not fight meaning like, I know you went over there to hope that they would see your perspective. And I think that you did a great job and you can only do so much, but I just, I hope that there's other people who offer you a space that are on an opposing side to also go there too, because I feel like there's sure. a bigger sure. space out there. There's more spaces out there with people that will probably be more um, receptive, you know? Can I add no, to I, that? I totally understand. I totally understand. Yeah, Gypsy, go ahead. So I feel like it was very like, because I watched the first time that Ken went on Morbid's Live and I watched the whole thing. I was there. I heard how well he handled himself. Um, and like, I respect him so much for, for addressing the, the opposing side as we want to call it. Um, but I agree, I agree with you, Brie. I really feel like um, Ken has a major platform now with his social media having grown 
substantially. So what Gypsy's referring to here, I believe, is Ken's Instagram account where he has a little over 60,000 followers. Um, that he doesn't need to rely on any other content creator when he himself could be a content creator and have that power. Ken doesn't want to be a content creator. And, you know, we just had wrapped up filming with the previous season of our show. He has a TV show. He has major social media following now. He doesn't need to rely on anyone's social media to have a voice. He doesn't need. He can. But what does he want? If Ken wants to go on Sir Morbid's panel, why can't he do that? And what TV show does Ken have? Ken doesn't have his own TV show. He was in like two episodes of Life After Lockup. This is a very indirect way of saying, I don't want Ken to talk to anybody else. I don't want Ken to go on anyone else's live streams, anyone else's panel. If Ken wants to defend me, then well, he can do it on his own profile. And now we see this is what Gypsy wants. She wants Ken to be out here defending her because she's so consumed with what other people are saying about her on social media. And so I think that given the right time, the right space, um, the, the right opportunities that come his way to share his story of how we met, how our relationship is going, all of those details that he wants to share with people and, and in a sense, show them the light or the truth, he will be able to. Right now, it's just a complicated space and time and area right now. And I know how frustrating that could be, but just give it time and the right opportunities will come your way. Yeah, I respect like the fact that you are willing to go against opposing arguments like that. It's not easy all the time. Like you do, like you said, you have to have thick skin and they're going to say things and you have to be able to like to just like push through that. And so I don't want you to think that I don't want you to ever think that I'm saying don't um, argue with opposing views at all. I just know that what you have to say matters. And I feel like there are people that are on the opposing side that are willing to and will listen to you. And I just think that in some spaces, less than others. And so I feel, I hope that you get the opportunity to speak in, on other people's platforms that are, have opposing views. That's really what I'm saying. I'm not saying like, oh my God, never go over there again. I'm saying that I feel like there are other spaces that oppose, you know, that are on the opposing side that I think that your voice could be very powerful in. And because you are very well-spoken and you have firsthand experience, I mean, you know, Gypsy. And mm -hmm. that's, that's all I want to say. Like, I want you to know that I don't mean like, why are you talking to these people that don't agree with you? So, cause that's not what I mean at well, all. I mean, and then that's like one of, my, one of my bigger points is that, I mean, besides you, Brie, like everybody else, um, as far as their live and their viewers and everybody else in this, in this uh, live as well is the difference between us is that we know Gypsy on a very personal level. We know her far more beyond the headlines and the, and the articles and what people see based off of media. You know, she's so much more than that. She's got so much more depth and so much more personality than that, that, you know, there's so much more to show. She has so much more to show then show it. Like, what do you mean? She has two TV shows, two books, and her own social media platform. People are basing their opinions off of what she has put out there. So if there's something else that the rest of the world needs to see to actually know Gypsy on a deeper level, as they say, then show it. But honestly, some people are not going to be turned to the light, as Gypsy said. She is a convicted schmurderer. These people may be willing to forgive Gypsy because they know her on a personal level, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the world has to. People are allowed to have their opinions of Gypsy, and that's never going to change. Then what people think, you know, people will, people can formulate their entire opinion on somebody based off what they see online without actually having any real deep context, which oh, yeah. you and I have, because we know Gypsy on a very personal day. This is what I fight for, huh? <laughs> you know, and, 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 and that's all that I ever tried to show, I guess, is that, you know, you guys might think of Gypsy in this way because you've seen X, Y, and Z, but I know her on a much deeper level because I'm around her every day. And I, and, and I have so much more to say than these headlines. And yeah, she's, she's, such a, she's such a deeper person than that. And she's an amazing person. 
Like she's a very lovely person and I'm, I'm very proud and happy to have her in my life. And you know, at, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, people might be opposing or they may not agree at all, but if I can just share my perspective and somebody can understand, then that's the, that's the entire point. I'm not trying to change anyone's mind. Right. right. You know, if that happens and great, you know, but I'm not, I'm my, my goal is not to bring you over to my side. It's just to explain to you why I'm on this side, you right. know, and why I feel the way that I feel and how I came to this point. You know, right. but like you said, he's not trying to change anybody's mind. He's just trying to give them a piece of, what he knows and what he knows to be true. So I'm going to cut out sometimes where Brie is talking because she's basically just reiterating everything that Ken just said. She just ended that with saying that Ken is not trying to change anyone's mind, but that's what she's doing. It seems that she is on a mission to try to sway people over to support Gypsy again, because Gypsy is so consumed with what people think about her. I mean, recently, my father did the same thing. Right. My father I went on TikTok for the first time, and he wanted to battle with <laughs> Top Dog Fancy. Um, didn't see that one coming at all. And he's like, I'm like, what was your reasoning for doing that? I'm like, I try to ignore it. Christy does her best to ignore it. Please, Christy is the last person ignoring anything. But correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Rod get on Ivory Rose live panel before Fancy was ever even on there? So it's not that Rod got on there to go against Fancy. He probably got on there because Christy told him to. We all try to just kind of keep moving forward. Like, why did you feel this need to do this? And he's like, because I've never took up for you on social media before and i wanted the chance to do that we ride at dawn for rod rod is a tiktok dad we all we ride at dawn for rod <laughs> i know <laughs> no true that uh, well i'm gonna get off of here and i love you guys and y'all have a good night you have a good night too we love you ken good night i'll be texting you babe love you Gypsy, while you're up here, I mean, I don't know if there is, but is there anything specific that you ever hear in here or hear ever anywhere that you, I mean, I don't know if you want to, or if you don't want to, you don't have to, but anything you want to clarify or talk about? I mean, you don't have to, but I just figured you don't come up here often. Well, we I know, are. I'm just chilling. Um, okay. You don't have to. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't, have to talk about that, I haven't actually. been, like, you know, I have not yeah, been in live that much. Yeah. Um, like you haven't been on social media much yeah like a combination of like yeah i have my passwords to where i can log in um if i want to but like for posting and stuff like that i'll make the content and then send it over to my pr team they will edit it and post it for me and we do that a lot on a regular so if there's ever a time that I, i'm like in the live yeah it's me but i'm probably not going to be there for very long this is the longest I, that i've been in a live for a long time first of all i don't buy for a second that she hasn't been on social media very often second of all if you want to be a social media influencer then you need to be producing content I'm not buying that the PR team edits and posts her videos for her. To be quite honest, they're not great videos. They're not good at all, especially for someone who wants to be an influencer. So if that's true and the PR team is okaying those videos, then they're a terrible PR team. Um, well, well, I'm sure that many people are probably glad that you came up. They always like, tell Gypsy to come up. Also, like, I think I feel like Ken makes me feel more comfortable. So if yeah. like he's in there, then I'm yeah. more likely to come in there too. Yeah, I'm glad he came in here. And I'm glad he came up here and talked because that's one thing I do want to stress y'all. Like, don't come after, don't go after Ken for wanting to defend Gypsy. Like he, like of course, like we all have our opinions of morbid, but I will say this, like. And while he's in the chat, for the most part, I find that they have been respectful to him. Mm -hmm. But my only issue ever is that, like, the way oh, they just are so horrible to Gypsy. And y'all know I'm a, like I'm gonna have Gypsy's back regardless. So, um, and I don't like that. I hate when they speak about her in that way, and it just drives me fucking crazy. But 
You know, Ken just loves her, y'all, and he just wants to defend his girl. His so, Brie keeps saying this. Don't go after Ken because he goes on Morbid's panel, y'all. The only people that have an issue with Ken going on Morbid's panel is Brie and Gypsy. Let's be real. Lady. Which I think that's very admirable, and Ooh. I'm like, you know, I think from my perspective, like, my perspective is very you know, reality based where a lot of times I'm kind of like social media, what we don't see won't hurt us. Right. So just kind of live in the present, live in the real life. Like we have a lot going on. Like I'm five months pregnant. We've got a lot of good things going for us, you know, coming up on a, on a holiday here pretty soon. So I'm like, I'm looking forward to all of these milestone moments. That's going to be my first since prison. So, you know, I don't want to keep my head in the phone or on social media. I want it to be in the real world. And I want him to feel the same way. You're joking, right? You're joking. So we have had a lot of discussions about, about social media and about how to be more grounded with reality. And I'm glad that you're saying that because, you know, one of the things that people like to perpetuate is that, you know, you are... You can't get away from social media and I will argue these points with people and um, and sometimes I don't because it's like not even worth it. But I, they hate, I hate social media. If I like if it was more than if it was just my opinion alone, I would have already like deleted my TikTok, deleted my Instagram and went completely off social media. But a lot of people were like talking to me and in my ear, it's 10 million followers. Do you realize how big that is? People cannot buy that kind of following. Maybe they can't. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But, you know, I got that organically from the time that I got released. Like, my social accounts blew up. And so there are people that tell me you'd be a dumbass if you would delete your socials. First and foremost, there's many people that believe Gypsy should not be allowed on social media at all. As we know, that's how she got into contact with Nicholas Godajon. They messaged back and forth through a Christian dating site through Facebook. Gypsy had her social media profiles up and ready to go before she ever stepped foot out of prison. And she's constantly on social media. She knows what everyone is saying about her at all times. She's constantly replying to other people's comments on videos that they make about her. She's got her PR team sending bots to comment on videos where people talk about her. And she wants to be an influencer. You can't hate social media if you want to be an influencer. The reality is, is that Gypsy does not like other people's opinions about her. It's almost as if she obsesses over it because if not, would Brie be here? Would Brie be doing what she's doing if it didn't affect Gypsy in some way? I mean, it's not like Gypsy has a job in the real world, so I'm sure that she's on social media all the time because she has nothing else to do. I think there was nothing wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of people don't realize is that you having a normal job would be, and right now anyway, would be so hard. Like I was, I, I witnessed myself at Jazz Fest, the amount mm -hmm. of times that people stopped you. Could you imagine working at Walmart or I McDonald's? Can't. Like, I mean, that was the problem. Even with my prison job, when I was in prison and I was working as a photographer in the visiting room, like I had to quit that position and move to a position doing warehouse work inside prison because the families would recognize me and want to talk to me and they were all nice but the it, part of the rules was you can't like socialize with other inmates visitors right and so i couldn't stand there take their picture and then have a whole conversation with them it was too distracting so i had to quit that um so like now things are considerably more heightened so yeah. i just don't see that happening for right now like, surely we know that customer service jobs are not the only jobs in the world, right? Like, there are jobs where you don't have to see the public or the public doesn't have to see you. Working at McDonald's, Walmart, wherever, those are not the only options out there. And everybody's like, she doesn't have a job. What is going on? Okay, by parole, I have to have a job. And my parole officer does count my book the documentary, the TV show, you know, everything that I, even my social media, being an influencer, that counts as a job. 
Oh my gosh. Yet, during Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup, we reamed Ryan for bringing this up. They had a huge argument over this because Gypsy had gotten off the phone with her PO and he told her to basically take a step back from social media. And Ryan said to Gypsy, did you tell him that that's your job? And she blew up on him over this saying, if all you care about is money, and Ryan said, I'm just saying, did you tell him that that's a job? Because he's always telling you to get a job. Like, seriously? So as long oh, as cool. I cool. still have that, that is my income. That is my job. That's and then cool. you should see anybody would have done it. Anybody w in your position would have done it. And that's the thing that I was trying, like, yes. just like the plea deal, just like this opportunity, everything that you've done, everything that you've taken, every opportunity that you've grabbed onto, any person in your position would have done the same exact thing. Well, that's just simply not true. Some people don't want to be a social media influencer and want to live a nice, quiet, private life. And I feel like it's not even like it's not like the things that I'm currently doing. It's not cir circulating around the crime. Yes, like not the at TV all. show is about my life currently. The second TV show may be about your life currently, but the reality is that if the crime hadn't happened, no one would know who you are. My social media, there's not one thing posted about the crime mm -hmm. on my social media. How am I profiting off of the crime? Because that's what I'm known for. I'm trying to change that. If people would just give me the chance to prove that, hey, I can go from being known, you know, infamous to being known for doing something better with her life. And that's my point on social media. And when she was first released, she had way more support. She had more people rallying for her success. But what happened was she got out of prison, went on a media campaign, and then her own words made people start to question things. It's like she wasn't taking accountability for her role in the unaliving, and she was trying to push everything onto Nick and villainizing Nick. That, plus all the things that she has done present day after getting out, people do not agree with it. You're not gonna win everybody. Not everybody is gonna like you. You got out of prison married, and then left your husband for Ken and then got pregnant immediately right away. A lot of people don't like that either. So it's your own actions that are making people form negative opinions. And because we wanted to have TV shows and be a social media influencer, the entire world knows about it. It's not it's gonna happen overnight. <laughs> it's not gonna happen overnight. And I am still finding like, what is my niche? What is my purpose? You know. When I first came out, I wanted to advocate, but you know, people like Mina and, and Morbid and all of these content creators slam me down and I'm human, that's gonna get to me. So what else do I have? Okay, I'm gonna showcase my life, putting on my makeup, you know, doing my daily routine because that's what's fun to me. Now, is there a time to get serious? Absolutely, but I'm trying to figure out the time and place and the proper way to go about that. And you have every right to do that. Like, you, uh, uh, what I try to tell people a lot of times is that when you, so you always said you wanted to advocate. There are other things you're passionate about, not just what you went through. So right. that's for one. For two, you're allowed to change your mind. And not that you have, but you're allowed to. So three, you also, just because you say you're gonna do something, it doesn't mean it has to be the next day. If you right. decide four years from now to start advocating you're allowed to do that and that there's no time frame and no one should expect there to be one things that i have not even talked about yet yeah. that only i know and privileged people know yeah. about that area in my life so this part got a little glitchy but gypsy basically said maybe there are things going on behind the scenes that people don't know about. But again, why are we so concerned with what other people think? If you want to do advocacy work and be a true advocate, there are going to be people that don't agree with the things you're talking about. You have to be able to let that go. You know, there are things that I just don't go into detail about. Right. That, that's what I always tell people. Y'all do not know all the details. Y'all do not like, you know, just like your show. Gosh, they, that show could have been freaking 20 episodes.
episodes. Like you and Ken's relationship was what, what two a, a episode and a half? Like two episodes, whatever. Barely, barely. Like, like it was barely. the breakup, and then it was like Boom, you know us reconnecting. <laughs> but I was, I even had a conversation with Lifetime because there was like we filmed. They were at my house whenever I made the donation to Make a Wish. And I still have the receipt from that. Like I sent it to you, if you remember. Yeah. And I was disappointed that they didn't show that because I'm like, that was something that I wanted to do. That was something that was on my heart. And all these haters are like, did she make a donation? And then went into like so much just to try to message Make a Wish, like asking if I did or if I didn't. I did, I have the receipt. But I'm not like bragging about it. That's not why that's I did it. Said, that's what they would have said if you would have yeah. shown it. Anyway. Like I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. So she's upset that Lifetime didn't film that she made a donation to Make a Wish. Do you guys remember back when Gypsy was also still with Ryan and she reached out to Habitat for Humanity and wanted to volunteer with them because they wanted to film it during the Lifetime show? But Habitat for Humanity basically turned her down. If you want to donate for a good cause out of the kindness of your heart, you do it for that reason. Not to try to prove something to the rest of the world. It's coming off that she wants to do all of these things to sway public opinion of her. Not because she wants to do it, because she feels guilty or she wants to give back but because she wants public approval. Exactly. Which is you why I have times so I've scared. said that. My I wife. have said that girl's damned if she does, she's damned if she don't. A lot of the <laughs> stuff that Bree is saying to you, I've heard her say before to ignorant people. I've heard her say these same things to ignorant people. And I've said before too, um, I said, I'm sure Gypsy is making money. I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but she's not making money off the crime, so stop. Right. Team Nobody Lilith, 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 all about makeup and stuff like that. <laughs> Nobody needs to make money off the crime for years. For years. They're, they're making money off the crime. Like, mm -hmm. putting out absolutely disgusting things to try to hurt Gypsy, and they don't care about who else they're hurting in the mix of it. That's really rich coming from you, Bree, with some of the things that I've seen you do on live stream. But this isn't about you. And again, if Gypsy hadn't committed the crime, no one would be talking about it. You guys also say that you wouldn't have a problem if people talked about just the crime and facts and not other things. So it seems like you're okay with people making money as long as it's your agenda and your narrative. Aren't you also now monetized, Brie? Aren't you also making money? So, like, you can't complain about other people making money talking about Gypsy when that's all you talk about is Gypsy. They, if anybody's profiting off of anything, it's them, not Gypsy. Gypsy does I not mean, have a mention Gypsy, that. I have a petition. Can Brie get, like, one more half a frog leg per? Yes. She can okay. get a million frog legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Gypsy. Everybody, you know, how much, Gypsy, do I get paid by you? <laughs> Only on frog legs. <laughs> oh, y'all. I've been telling y'all. And she bought me a grill. But other than that, <laughs> like, oh, my God, the people that say that, what's funny, when I go to comment sections, anybody who's taken up for you, it can be someone that doesn't know you from, like, just madam, okay? And they're like, you're getting paid by Gypsy. I'm like, Gypsy going to be broke, okay? <laughs> Gypsy is going to be broke within the next year because she's just paying so many people and oh, it just is so refreshing to um to when i get people like today somebody came up and i don't know if you were in here but they were like apologizing to me which i said they don't apologize but they were apologizing to me for just i guess things they've said over here before um and they came to the light and I said, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put a board behind me and see how many people convert every day. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it won't be many, especially if they stick around and see the things that you do on live. But same, just like Ken said, I don't, I know people think that I'm over here trying to change people's mind. I mean, yeah, that's hopefully, but really I just, somebody, y'all, when I started doing this before I even met Gypsy, I, I seen, I, I started researching something completely different. You know, I was, I seen Fancy Maselli and I was like, holy shit, what is this woman doing? And I like was digging, 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 found a bunch of crazy crap. And then in the process got to know Gypsy without, well, I never got to know her yet at the time, but got to know her through what I can see, what I could find. And I saw the shift 
and the public opinion, the popular opinion became, you know, what it is now. And I don't know. I just, I started just, I, it just blew my mind away, like how much the world lacked empathy for her. And when I say like, ever since I met Gypsy, I, and I always tell y'all this, like, she's always been like an open book. She's always been very, what I feel like honest, I mean, not everybody has to agree with me, of course, but uh, I'm so sorry. The reason I'm, I'm only letting people that have been here all the time, because we're not going to have anybody come up in here and say anything. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are bad witch or good witch, but um, I'm has always witch. been, um, my heart has always been to speak the truth on her. And even if that means the truth is, is ugly, even if the truth's ugly, like um, I've spoken on the things that I don't agree with. And a lot of people think that I just sit over here and just make up stories, but that's not the case. I just want the truth to be out there. And it's not just for Gypsy, it's for anybody involved in this crime or this aftermath of the crime. Like everyone deserves to have their voice heard. And people that have, people claim that certain people have been silenced, but that same person has said they haven't. And all I am is out here speaking for her because I care about her and because I know her. And a lot of people don't want to take that as truth. And y'all don't have to, but as y'all can hear, Gypsy, she's such a kind person, y'all. And she has such a good heart. And there's, she's, there's never been a single thing that she's ever been afraid to answer. And it's hard for me to ask her some things sometimes, but I ask her some, sometimes I hold back because I don't want to ask her because I feel like she doesn't even need to be talk, speaking about it or thinking about it. But, um, Y'all just know that if y'all, if Gypsy had all the time in the world to speak to every individual person, y'all would see what I see. And I know that y'all would. I have, all, like, I'm confident in that. Um, she's not perfect, just like no one else is, but she really is a person that's trying and that's growing. And she's becoming such an amazing woman. And I hope that one day y'all will see what I see. And so when y'all come over here, if you're on the opposing side, don't think that I'm trying to convince you. I'm just you just said two minutes ago that you are trying to convince people, that you are trying to bring them to the, quote, truth. And Brie talked about that before when she started talking about Gypsy and she didn't really know Gypsy. Yeah, before, Brie had a job. Brie had a small business. And now, Brie sits on live every single day almost for hours and hours. We're talking goes live that evening and will still be live the next morning. That cannot be healthy. I'm trying to share truth with y'all. And y'all need to start questioning all the content creators. Ask them for receipts like y'all ask me for receipts. And make them provide them to y'all. And at the end of the day, this is the job that this is this is what y'all have to ask yourself. If this person really was treated the way that she was treated, and I'm saying all these horrible things about her, and I come to find out months later, oh my god, this was all true. How do you like? How can y'all live with that? Like I, I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to. Y'all don't have to agree with everything about Gypsy, but the one thing that I ask, and then I'll shut up is to not invalidate her abuse. That's the one thing that hurts me to my core is when her abuse is invalidated. But I'm gonna shut up because I'm a, I'm a crybaby. And that this is so, I just, I care about Gypsy so much. And yeah, she deserves respect. Even if you don't agree with her, she deserves the respect. If you don't, just, just scroll on. Don't engage with these conspiracy theories that are harmful to not just Gypsy and even other people involved in this crime, but also to people that weren't. There are names being thrown into this that don't do not deserve to be in it. And I'm talking about Dan, David, those two, the two D's, I guess the bunch of D's. But um, like if you hear someone speaking about other people that do not deserve to be spoken about in this crime, pass up their channel because it's not worth engaging in that. Another thing, Gypsy has family members that do not talk about this, that don't come on social media about this. If you hear a content creator speaking about those people, scroll. Because they don't, they do not deserve to have the engagement. There's people in our family that deserve to be protected. First of all, Gypsy and her family signed up to be on a reality TV show. When you're on reality TV, people are going to talk about you. So if you don't want people speaking about your family, then maybe don't do reality television. Just saying. If y'all hear that, I would suggest, even if you don't want to agree with that, you go find another. Um, content creator that's talking about Gypsy then. Because I, like, you, if you don't want to respect Gypsy, respect those people at least. But now I'm going to shut up.
So after that, one of the people on Bree's panel has apparently taken in a wild possum, so they bring that on the screen in show Gypsy. Oh, look at him. Uh -huh. Oh, oh my god. god no. Oh hell no. Oh, it's no. so cute. What's his name? Lucky. Oh, hi Lucky. Yes, she's lucky hands, to be alive. Bro, I love the hands. <laughs> Have you got Bree, what happens if I go as a possum for Halloween? Oh my god, people you should. People would <laughs> die. <laughs> That's what you and Kate oh, get both See, it makes sense. You have a baby in the pouch. I know, oh, and people yeah. think that it's an insult to me, but my aunt has been calling me possum since shit I was born, and so I'm like, I laugh at it. I'm like, I I see the resemblance. I think my eyes look like possum eyes, so I agree. <laughs> well, oh, if you do, get so me, cute. Just make sure you hang upside down by your tail in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a tail and everything. Send us a picture. Oh, my goodness. And make sure Bree gets gets to touch the tail. <laughs> you know what? I think that'd be so. You should either, even if you don't, um, you can dress up more than one thing. You, know, you can do like two different costumes. I think you totally should, and like you should make a video of you in the possum costume because you know that's the best thing when people think that you're bothered by something when you're not, and they're like, I, and I told, I actually I said that because when I was at the gender reveal, you know, we talked about this, and you were like, I think it's cute, and um, I said, yeah. I was like, I was like, I told y'all, like, she don't care about that. So now they're gonna get into Gypsy having couples therapy with Ken. Do so you have any plans for this week? I'm away the hurricane, so. Yeah, the not? hurricane's really kind of <laughs> definitely blocking out this week. I was supposed to have couples therapy with Ken on Friday, but um, they canceled because of the storm, so. Well. But on the 15th, so Sunday is Ken and I's like original anniversary. So September 15th of 2017 is when we met in person for the first time. And oh, okay. so we're gonna do like, kind of like a little, I don't know, like a little celebration, nothing too big, probably dinner. Um, but it's one of our anniversaries. Right. Hey, you gotta have multiple of them. Right. Because well, all couples need therapy. That's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's this wonderful like, place in the world. Therapy. That's going to be the next headline. Um, yes. All couples need therapy. For real. Yeah. And I mean, it's a parenting couple therapy. So it's called Rebirth. And it's um, it's this place in New Orleans that offers like couples therapy, but it's like a parenting couples therapy type of thing. So, you know, I figured I'm like, we're going through a lot like with this pregnancy. I'm still going through the, the divorce. So I'm like, we're new, new parents. We're newly back together after a five year separation. And I'm like, I think that I'm very pro therapy. So I'm in individual therapy and I'm like, why not let's, let's do couples therapy. So Gypsy and Ken are doing couples parenting therapy, which I mean, that's good. They should do that. I think every parent should take at least parenting classes before having their first kid. You know? Pro therapy, y'all. She said she's pro therapy. And you know, you sometimes like I think like from my opinion, sometimes the dads get pushed to the back burner. Yeah. Like when you're when you're pregnant and you know you're having a baby, like nobody thinks about dads sometimes, and they need to be recognized. Yeah. I feel like that. I agree. Um, what was I gonna say? Wait, okay, so um, I know I sent you a date, but I didn't realize it was so close. Oh, <laughs> I was muting your boss, but it won't let me. <laughs> um, but no, we really okay. If you can't do that, um, I didn't realize that date was so soon. I sent you something. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, the painting thing. Just to get you to do some normal, some normal shit for a day. Um, what is Gypsy doing that's not normal, Bree? I'm just confused. What What does she do on a day to day basis that's not normal? No, I didn't. I didn't see oh, it didn't yet. See, I've been oh, napping um, a lot. <laughs> uh, well, I sent you. There's this thing. Um, there's this painting place where. Um, and it, right, the one that I have is for September 17th, and it's um, it's a door hanger, and it's really cute. It's these three pumpkins for fall, and it's Aww. um, it's a painting place where you can go and paint. And they have like mocktails or cocktails, whichever one. But anyways, so I, I wrote you that. But um, if that's too soon, because I didn't realize how close September 17th was. I think it's September 17th. If that's too soon, we can find a later date. But I think that would be fun. And it's right. It's not far from Ken's. Um, okay. 
So yeah, yeah I mean, September 17th, I have something on that day. Like, next week is going to be that super that busy. I didn't even think that was that close. And I was like, oh, shit, that's like next week um, or <laughs> week after. So, but they probably have some cool ones for Halloween. But anyways, but, um, th- so you can do something fucking normal, you know? Yeah. Um, and I know you like to paint, so. Um, is there I like a pumpkin patch around? Like, is there some kind of. A, there's one on my way, Gypsy. I'll, uh, Bri could tell you where I live. Mm-hmm. And there is a pretty big one, um, which is not. I mean, I don't know where Ken lives, but it's like would be on your way to Bree to New Orleans. Let's just say that. Okay. But Bree, I'll send you the information and you can pass it on a gypsy. Like Sadly, you get the little it, bag. It's and- bad when you know what you're talking about. Like you, you'd have to live around here to know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, you probably know, huh? I do. <laughs> like Ken's okay. like in the M word. He, he's close to the M word. The M word. Um, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's more, yeah, he's. It's all that same area, you know. There's so yeah. many. Um, yeah. Dark yeah. Areas, uh, but all like in the you N-O, get, N-O, you N-O get in a little like you get on a little tractor and they take you out to the patch and you pick your pumpkin Aww. and then you can like wash it and stuff. But it's really nice. But um, I'll tell Bree where it's at. Oh yeah, you can oh, do some cool. pumpkin carving. Yeah. That would be so <sighs> much fun. It was such a. I mean, sorry, it was such a um a good live. I'm glad that um. Well, actually, that was wonderful. Actually, when Ken first got up, because um, <clears throat> um, yeah, because we got to you know prove that somebody was not being honest. And then the thing that I read the definition of was amazing too. You know, um, two for us, two for us. But um, Gypsy, I'm just so proud of you for not being afraid to like just speak your truth, even though you get hate all the time. Well, I it's think just, the one thing that, that like is annoying is people are like, she lies, she lies. But the things that they say I lie about, they're like, they're just because I don't say the same thing verbatim. Like yes, when I yes. went, when I went fishing and I did that whole, you know, fishing experience with Ken and then Nina was like, well, why couldn't she just say that she's been fishing before she's lying? She went crabbing with her dad. Okay. Fishing and crabbing are two different things. I've never held yes. a pole, a fishing, a damn fishing pole before. That was my first time. You can't do anything without things. Nina saying something. I know, and I've just learned that. I'm like, I've just kind of accepted that point that I'm like, I can say, this is my first time doing this, and then they'll go and, and find something similar. And here we are talking about Nina again. And honestly, I think people are more concerned with the inconsistencies and lies when it comes to her story. Gypsy, like, could, you please, could you please, I don't mean to cut you off, but could you anyway. please verify your account? I see the, I see this going on yeah. in the chat down there, please. I, I'm working on it. It wasn't me that initially got me verified. It was Lifetime. So since they're... Lifetime has their own PR, and so their PR, while we were filming, went ahead and got my TikTok verified. And when I changed my username, that's when I lost my verified check mark. And so I'm going to have to, like, either go through it myself or, like, contact Lifetime to reinstate it. So... Okay, isn't that what your PR team is for? This part na- makes no sense to me. You don't need a TV network to verify you on TikTok, especially when you've already been verified. Has the feds, has the feds showed up at your house yet? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy, I actually unmuted to tell you thank you for getting on here and thank you for being so strong. And this whole, this whole group here has your back regardless. And just... You have to be walking out with those hating people say that they mean nothing. They're not a part of your day to day. And girl, you just stay focused and you keep doing what you're doing and all good things are coming, honey. Don't don't never let nobody break you. You know, you got you know, you got so much support over here, girl. I know. And that's why I I told Ken, I'm like, if you want to like go and breeze live and speak your truth and and have a voice there, you have that place. Like she's a safe place to to do that with. Well, I know Ken wants to, I get it. Well, he has no opposition here, Mm -hmm. but we can invite opposition at least. (laughs) 
<laughs> you can always invite I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can keep no, my mouth shut. I would invite opposition to come every day, but I'm talking about if Ken, if, there's, if, if you haven't needed a safe space to debate I'm with Ken. Okay. Right, right. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, I'm saying like, just because I know that over here we're not going to tolerate certain things, and I don't care what people say about it. Like, there are certain things that we're never going to tolerate. Oh, again, with the Ken needs to come on my live panel and my live panel only. Let's you know try to be kind on the internet, no matter how hard it may be for some of you. Um, remember that everybody has feelings, and sometimes not everybody can take it at, like others can. And so yeah, just be mindful. And nobody should have to get off the internet just because you want to be a bully. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah. I'm off subject, but I just wanted to announce that again. No, amen and amen. And but I just want to say, anytime you want to come in here, you don't have to turn on your camera just like you're doing right now. Feel free. Sometimes we're in here just acting crazy and silly, so. I know well, I have a funny we'll make story. Sure I, would, keep... I would have my camera on, but uh, this morning I was trying to trim my eyebrows a little better and I end up taking half of one off and so Girl. I made the other one match. <laughs> you didn't go to Walmart, did you? Video. <laughs> I have two halves of an eyebrow. <laughs> you didn't go to Walmart, did you? <laughs> no. I walked I in and like walked several, out with no eyebrows. <laughs> I used several different pins and I'm like stressing out because I have not found the right one to draw these eyebrows on. Okay, we're going to skip ahead a little bit because now they're just talking about eyebrow pencils. One woman is talking about how she hasn't been to sleep and now has to go to work. I miss oh, well. Ken being in the box. He's such a sweetheart. I was sitting here thinking, I've not had a man in years and I've not wanted one. But if Gypsy <laughs> don't want him, she can send him to Tennessee. I'll take her. He got a brother. He got a brother. <laughs> I'm a, a single oh, lady, but hey, I'll take him. Checked on the weather forecast just a couple of hours ago because I was napping. Um, but it said that there was a mandatory evacuation for the first parish, but it was more for like the people that live in trailers. Um, mm. So Christy and I are just going to ride it out. Um, right now it's calm. Like, I don't think that it's, it's going to get bad until tomorrow. Right, um, yeah. yeah, so I think you were pretty all right. Hey, Gypsy, Holy, two things that's awesome. Awesome. I wanted to ask you. Number one, being pregnant, are you not getting the absolute most best sleep that you've ever had in your life being pregnant? I am. I am. Like, right? Like, the, the first trimester and then, like, even to this day, like, I feel like I sleep a lot better because I'm always tired. But in now that I've started, like, the second trimester, I'm having more energy in the daytime. But I'll do like one big thing in the day and then like want to take a nap in the afternoon and then be zonked the rest of the night. Right. I just remember that was the best sleep ever was being pregnant. And then the last thing I wanted to bring up to you, girl, I went when your book went on pre-sale on Amazon immediately. I went and ordered it. So I'm supposed to um, it's supposed to come like December 10th. And now right. you're out here saying you're doing the audio to it. Now I got to go buy that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I go. Yeah, I go into the studio uh, on the twenty third to record it. Oh, man, what was I gonna? Oh, no, wait, wait, I don't know. Somebody in the comments asked, "Are you? Will you, are you ever gonna do a meet and greet?" Um, I mean, I think unless it was like for like a book signing type of thing. Other than that, probably not. Because I mean, I just guys, I don't see myself as that way, you know? So it's just kind of awkward to me. <laughs> Here we go. See yourself in what way? You claim you're a social media influencer and an author. So what do you mean? You do see yourself that way. Period poop. So yeah, if she does a book thing, if she does a book signing, if she does have the best list, it's contagious. I know. But um, you see, I'm so, like, and this is, you hear it from Gypsy right here. Because, like, people do not understand that. Like, people think that she wants to, like, just be like, see me, look at me, love me. No, and you know how embarrassed I was at the family reunion? Because, like, and I know I made that post and I got made fun of a lot. But, like, it was really hard because I was, like, trying to just have the family reunion yeah. And there was like, this part of the beach, like it was like a lake beach thing. I don't know how to describe it. There was like sand there, and sand. and it was, it was not the ocean. <laughs> it was, it was so, not the ocean. It was, it was not the, the ocean. God, it's the bayou yeah. in a sense. I was wrong. Um, 
but um but there was people always coming up to me and then like i took a picture a couple of selfies with some girls that came up to me but then like i was starting to head towards like where we were having the gathering and like one girl came up to me i took a picture with her but then like they swarmed me on both sides and i i said hey everybody like i'd love to take a picture with everybody but i'm at a family gathering i just can't right now and they all like left and then that's when like family members started to kind of recognize that they needed to kind of say something and kind of just have a little bit more of their their um their caution up and so a couple of family members like hey you know keep on walking or whatever and i didn't tell them to say anything to, to to people. but it's like we're having a family gathering i don't want the attention to be on me this is for everybody i'm just a guest and then somebody wrote in a comment, well, why didn't you just not go if you thought that it was going to be like that? And I'm like, because I'm family too. Why should I have to give up meeting my family and extended family because people are not respectful and, and they don't understand or comprehend there's a time, there's a place. If I was at the mall, I'll take a selfie with you. I appreciate the support. But when I'm trying to be a face in the crowd and just be with my family, that's not appropriate. And you had people putting your location on the internet. Yes, exactly. Like, I don't, I don't Period. remember what her name was, but she, she said where I was going to be as I was That's there. That's not nice. That is not nice. Not. And wasn't there little kids there in your family too? Yeah, there's babies, there's toddlers, there's my, you know, my brother doesn't want anything to do with the, the, social media life like he lives a very private life and i respect that and so when i was trying to i'm trying to build a bond with my brother because it's like we we didn't grow up together but he also has he's married with a family and so we don't get together very often so i'm trying to build a bond with him and that's really hard whenever people are constantly invading our space and he doesn't want to be out there. Yes, for me to have that respect thing. him. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're almost over, but this is the part where Bree makes another whoopsie and asks Gypsy about filming a third season of her show. Anyways, when is season three going to be? I am contractually not able to oh. say. You cannot say. <laughs> you cannot even say if there will be a season three. I cannot <laughs> speak on that. But I think that we that don't know. That we don't know. Be. It's in. It's in the air. Yeah. So I don't even know what y'all talking about. Like, what do we know? Right. What are we talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Willis? Ain't no season three. Oh, that's what they meant. Season two. Season two is already out. Duh. <laughs> I don't even know how they view it because if you're viewing it as the prison confessions was season one and then life after lockup was season two, I don't know how people view it. Technically, yeah, one of, technically it's considered season two. Mm -hmm. It'll be your third lifetime show. If they have right. it. Right. Yeah. If they do it. No. Gypsy, when you go places, well, if you go places in NOLA or Lafayette, um, do, wait, no, the question was, Gypsy, do people recognize you in NOLA or Lafayette more? Okay. Like, people in new orleans um recognize you more is about the same um they're about the about the same do you think do you ever feel like people don't recognize you <laughs> um i've been okay so lately because i i don't want to be recognized i have been going out in sunglasses and a hat and i even thought about maybe putting a covid mask on like Ooh. i'm not really yeah. trying to go incognito guys <laughs> yeah. but i feel like it looks weird inside like a store because it's like <laughs> Who wears that stuff in a store? We <laughs> did short, short, short sus pregnant lady walking through Walmart. <laughs> yeah, who's the sus no. pregnant lady? What? <laughs> now Gypsy's going to talk about how she paid for an app to tell her how attractive she was. I also, um, I had tried out this really cool um, like service that I had seen on TikTok. You know those, those things where you scroll through and you see a video, how attractive is like margot robbie or margot. selena gomez and it it goes through the, like, their facial proportions and all that mm -hmm. so i did mine i like i paid like 25 bucks to get mm -hmm. mine done right. and it Bye. said that i'm a solid six so i'm above average attractive and like 
my facial features are good. I have like a rounded hairline, but my eyebrows I need to work on. So <laughs> my eyebrows need to be thicker for me to have like. Then why are you shaving them off, girl? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know, Rita then told me, um, the only thing, wait, your forehead needs to be smaller. <laughs> <laughs> she probably tell you to like do your makeup a certain way and like contour or like yeah. get bangs. Right. I, I try getting bangs and yeah. I'm waiting for it. Good, right. So that pretty much wraps up the live. Shortly after this, Brie just was messing around with her filters and then Gypsy ended up getting off the live. If you didn't catch my last video, I made a separate video talking about this whole Gypsy getting another Lifetime show or a second season of Life After Lockup. I'm pretty confident that that is happening. Someone left a comment on one of Gypsy's Instagram posts saying that they saw them out at a restaurant filming. So if that's the case, she's likely been filming for a while now and during and throughout her pregnancy, which is interesting considering that she said she didn't want her baby to be on camera. So I guess we're just going to have to see how that plays out. As far as Brie goes, I feel that she is spending a very unhealthy amount of time sitting on TikTok live talking about Gypsy. She will be on live for like 15, 16 hours, I've heard. And it's funny to me because a lot of the things that she calls other people out for as far as bullying or whatever, she is doing the same exact, if not worse, things talking about other content creators, which some people may have no idea is even happening because anytime you try to go into her live, you get immediately blocked. I just feel like at some point in time, something's gonna happen and Gypsy and Bree's friendship is not going to end well, as we have seen anyone who has been friends with her previously something has happened in that friendship to where they're no longer friends. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys on the next one.